And let me narrate to you a story. A story that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrates to us. From the previous nations. From the children of Israel. Where the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. He says the story about three men. Three men. In which Allah azza wa jal had tested and trialed in this world. One of them was a leper. He had the leprosy disease, which is the different color skin, the change of skin color on his skin. The other one was bald. He didn't have hair. And the third one was blind. He couldn't see. Three men and three tested men. One of them is a leper. The other one is bald. And the third one is blind. Allah wanted to test them. So how did Allah Azza wa Jal test them? And what's the way and form that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tested them? Not by taking something away from them, by giving them something. So Allah Almighty, He sends an angel in the disguise of a human being to test each one of them. So He comes to the leper, the one with the leprosy disease. And this angel in the disguise of a human being, He says to him, O oh man, if there's something that you wish for and you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you, what's this thing? He says, if there's something that I would like Allah to give me and something for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant me is that Allah azza wa jal cures me from this disease of leprosy, gives me a nice color skin so people are not turned off from me because of my leprosy. So this angel he says, my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you what you want and he wiped over his skin. And then he asked him, what kind of a wealth would you like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you? He says, I love camels. So he said, my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you what you asked for. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cured him with this quick dua and wipe over his skin. Allah Azza wa Jal cured his skin and his skin came back to normal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him not only a camel, but a pregnant she camel. So not only that he has one camel, Allah Azza wa Jal gives him a lot of camels. And then he said, Ma Allah Azza wa Jal bless you and bless your wealth. And then he went to the second man, the bald man, bald headed man. He said to him, man, if there's one thing that you would like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you or grant you, what's this thing? He said, if there's one thing that I want Allah azza wa to give me is that Allah gives me hair. I want my hair back. So people are not turned off from me. People don't shun me away. So he wiped over his head and he said, my Allah give you what you asked for. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him his hair back. And then he said, if there's wealth that you would like Allah azza wa to give you, what kind of a wealth is that? He said, I would love Allah to give me cows. So he said, may Allah give you cows. So Allah azza wa jal blessed him and granted him with a pregnant cow. And then he said, may Allah azza wa jal bless you in this cow. And he went. And he went to the third one, to the third man, the blind man. And he said to him, man, if there's one thing that you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you, what's this thing? He said, if there's one thing that I want Allah to give me is that Allah gives me my, back my sight. Allah restores my eyesight back to me. So he wiped over his eyes and he said, may Allah restore your eyesight back to you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala restored his vision, restored his eyesight back to him. And then he said to him, and if there's a kind of a wealth that you would like, what kind of a wealth would you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for? He said, if there's some wealth that I would, Allah, I would ask Allah azza wa jal, or I want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give me his sheep. So he asked Allah azza wa to give him sheep, so Allah granted him a pregnant sheep. And he said, my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your wealth for you. Bless this sheep for you. And he went. So the leper, or the former leper, now he has nice, beautiful skin 
And not only that, Allah blessed him with a pregnant she camel that now he has a valley full of sheep, full of camels. He has a valley full of camels. And the one that was bold, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with a nice beautiful hair. And not only one cow, but a valley of cows. And the one that was blind, Allah blessed him and restored his vision and eyesight back to him. And not only that he has one sheep, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with a valley and a herd of sheep. Now the test comes. Allah gave them. They were ill, Allah cured them. They were poor, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them rich. Now the test of Allah comes. What are you going to do after what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given you? What are you going to do with your health after Allah Azza wa had given you? What are you going to do with your wealth after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed you with it? So now the same angel comes to the three men. And he comes to the first one, the leper. The one that was leper. Now he's not leper anymore. He's got a nice beautiful skin. But before that, he was leper. He had leprosy. And before that, he was poor. Allah made him rich. So this angel comes to the former leper in a disguise of a leper. So how he used to be, the angel now came to him the way he used to be before. And he comes to the leper and he says to him, or the former leper man, and he says to him, Brother, I'm an old man with this illness, leprosy. People are turned off from coming near me. No one wants to talk to me. And I was traveling in the middle of the desert. I lost my camel and all my livelihood is on my camel. And I've got no one to help me except Allah and then you. For Allah Azza wa Jal, the one that gave you a nice beautiful skin, and for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one that gave you all this wealth, can you please help me and support me? So the former leper man, he says, well, I've got nothing to give you. And all this wealth that you see, I've inherited that from my forefathers. I've inherited that. I got it from my father, the one that got it from his father. All this wealth that you see has been inherited. It's not from Allah. Denying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounty upon him. Denying Allah Azza wa Jal's favor upon him. So the angel who's in a former, who, or who's in a disguise of a leper, this angel, he's in a disguise of a leper. He looks at that man and he says, I know you from somewhere. I recognize you from somewhere. Weren't you before this time a leper? Before you had this beautiful skin? Before this time you were a leper? You had the disease that I have right now? And you will pour Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you with all this wealth. So he says, no, 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 no. You've mistaken me with someone else. I have nothing to give you today, so get away. So the angel said, if you are saying lie, my Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take away everything from you as he had given it to you and bring you back the way you were before. And then he went to the second man, the former bold man. He didn't have hair before, Allah blessed him with hair. Didn't have wealth before, Allah gave him valleys of wealth, valleys of cows. And this angel will come to the former bold man in a disguise of a man who is baldy, the way he used to be before. To see the reaction, the way that people used to react towards you. Are you going to start reacting towards them? The way people used to react towards you? So he comes to the former bold man and he says to him, Brother, I'm an old man, baldy man. People are shunning me. People are turned off from me. And I was traveling in the middle of the desert. I lost my camel and my caravan. All my livelihood is on my caravan. All my livelihood is on my camel. And I have no one to help me and aid me and support me except Allah than you. Would you be kind enough to give me some of this world that Allah Azza wa had blessed you with? So the former bold man will say, I have nothing to give you. I have too many commitments. I have too many obligations. And I have nothing that I could give to you. So go and ask someone else. So the angel 
will say to him, but you know what? I recognize you from somewhere. Weren't you bold before and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed you with a nice hair? And you were poor before Allah azza wa jalla blessed you with wealth? So the former bold man will deny and say, no, 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 you've mistaken me with someone else. I've inherited this wealth from my forefathers and I've always had this beautiful silky hair. So go somewhere else, ask someone else. So the angel will say, if you are a liar, may Allah take everything away from you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring you back the way you were before this. And then he went to the third man, the former blind man. And he'll say to him, brother, man, I'm an old blind man. He comes to him in the way they used to be before blind. I'm an old blind man who was traveling in the middle of the desert, lost his caravan, lost his camel, and all his livelihood is on the back of his camel and has no one to help him and support him except Allah and then you. Would you be kind enough to give me some of this wealth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had blessed you with? So the former blind man, he'll say, brother, by Allah, I was blind. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala restored my vision back to me. And I was poor. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that gave me this wealth. And as you could see, I've got a full valley, herd of sheep. Go and take whatever you want. And by Allah, whatever you take, I'm not even going to ask you, why did you take that much? Take. So the angel will look at him and say, by Allah, I am an angel from Allah, sent by Allah to you to test three of you. You passed and both of you failed and Allah is going to bless you and Allah is going to take everything away from them.